Hans, the first question that we all want to know, how on earth did you get that brilliant idea of having the bridge at the center of this country, the bridge that binds Denmark and Sweden? Uh, actually, it was nothing like we thought was a good metaphor or anything. It was just simply out of we, for the first season, we needed our two police officers, one from Denmark and one from Sweden, coming together in a way that felt organic and natural. And so we just thought that we should have a, a body exactly on the border. And all the borders between Denmark and Sweden are water, except for the bridge. So that was where we put her. So how did you get the idea of having this Swedish police woman and the Danish police men? Um, we actually started out with Martin. When we created the characters, we started with Martin. Because um, we wanted Kim Bonia to play him. Uh, we had no idea whether or not Kim Bonia would like to play him. But we wanted him. Um, because two of my colleagues, I worked with him on another project, and I've seen him in, in the films, and we all loved him. So we created Martin first, and then in Sweden we have a, a long tradition of white male middle-aged uh, police officers, and they're all pretty much the same. Uh, they're divorced, and they have a bad relationship with their ex-wives and their kids. Uh, they don't really speak about emotions with anyone. Uh, they don't speak at all, actually. Uh, they go home, they drink a little too much, and they listen to opera or jazz and they would stare out in the darkness uh, until it's morning and they go back not to speak to anyone at the station again. And we wanted to do something else with our main officer, so we wanted him to be uh, a very emotional guy, um, uh, uh, with a family, and he loves his family, and he loves the idea of family life, um, and he loves to, to chit-chat with his colleagues. He's really interested in what they did last night when they went to see a movie or whatever. Uh, so that was basically, we created Martin first as a, something that we haven't really seen before in, in the Swedish male detective. So what were the challenges for creating the second series? I think the big challenge was to, um, to welcome everybody back to the British universe, but not really copy-paste the first season. Um, trying to figure out what is the kind of DNA of the bridge? What, what are the things that we should keep and that we, we should be really care, careful to keep? And what are the things that we actually can change but in, in order to develop uh, the show and our characters? So we, we sat down and kind of divided things that this, this, we, this we want, this we want, this we can change, this we can change. And then it's down to small things like plot devices and I mean, um, small, small things. And, we try not to, to kill people the same way as we did in season one. <laughs> <laughs> These are minor things.